So with both sides still hung up over tax hikes and spending cuts, can they come to a consensus in time to avert going off the cliff? Let's ask Texas Congressman Jeb Henserling, who joins me live from Washington this morning. Good morning to you, Congressman. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing just fine, thank you so much. Uh, it's interesting because it appears uh, from John Boehner that the president isn't budging on these spending cuts, and yet I want to point you in the direction of a new Fox News poll that came out this morning that said that if there are tax increases, should the president also budge on spending cuts? And you want to know how many people said yes? 89%. Your thoughts? Well, uh, I'm gratified by that because the truth is, the American is America is facing a debt crisis. I mean, under President Obama, we've accumulated more debt in four years than in the previous 200. We're borrowing roughly 40 cents on the dollar, much of it from the Chinese, sending the bill to our children and grandchildren. The president's out there saying, if all we will do is tax, quote unquote, rich people a little more, we'll solve the problem. Well, here are the two problems with his logic. Number one, half of this income that he wants to tax is small business income. And the, and the economic studies show that 700,000 of our fellow citizens will go from having paychecks to unemployment checks under his plan. And as the economy contracts, every American left with a paycheck will see about 2% less in it. So that's my first point. The second point is you give the president every single job crushing increase that he wants, Gretchen. It runs the government for eight, maybe nine days. You can't solve it there. He's had government grow 20% under his watch. So our revenues have been about level for the last five or six years, but spending has skyrocketed, and we're on the verge of being the first generation in America's history uh, to leave the next generation with fewer jobs, okay, so, fewer opportunities, and a lower standard of living. So, Congressman, if you had a crystal ball right now, I mean, what, what do you expect to happen, and should the Republicans hold the debt ceiling discussion as their bargaining chip? Well, my crystal ball is a little fuzzy, but I fear I may be hanging my stocking on the chimney with care next to my colleagues. Uh, perhaps I may be ringing in the new year with them. I don't know. I hope that doesn't come I as hope news you have to some my eggnog. wife. But with, yeah, exactly. With respect to the debt ceiling, you know, the president has come out. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry with this brazen uh, demand that we essentially give him carte blanche on the debt ceiling. You know what, Gretchen? Greece has been very good at ignoring their debt ceiling. And now they have 25% unemployment, 50% youth unemployment. You have young people having to leave the cities to go to the country to engage in subsistence agriculture. So that's what happens when you ignore right. your debt ceiling. Okay. Uh, Congressman, I've got to wrap it up there. Uh, if you actually have to hang your stocking there, uh, I might have to send you some champagne, too. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please do. All right. Uh, Congressman, have a great rest of the day, and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. It's nice to you.